Right, so welcome to NXT episode number four. This week we have got a hell of a schedule set up for ya. We have got Enzo Amore and Big Cass debuting as a tag team against the Authors of Pain who are our tag team champions. We have then got a Jinder Mahal open challenge for his NXT Intercontinental Championship. And the main event of the evening is the second match in the eight-man tournament for the number one contender spot between Hideo Itami and Cassius Ono. Oh, let's kick things off with this tag team match. So, we are getting into this match now. And here they come, Big Cass and Enzo Amore making their debut as a tag team. The uh there's just there's just Enzo there. Where's where's Big Cass? Okay, that's that's quite strange actually. No Enzo Amore. No, sorry, no big Cass. Just Enzo Amore. It's quite strange. I uh I don't know what could have happened. Okay, so there's no big cast, but here come the opponents. The Authors of Pain. And we're just getting news in. If I show a replay here. So, oh, this is the reason that Big Cass was not in the match. He was ambushed backstage as he was walking to the entrance ramp by Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes. It took Ric Flair to stop them. But why would they do this? Attacked by Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega. Two members of the Bullet Club, and uh, had to be they had to be f fended. No, they had to be shooed off. I don't know, shooed off by Ric Flair. But why would they attack him? Why would they attack him? Do they have something wrong with Enzo? With Big Cass, I'm not sure. But Enzo Moore is actually holding his own here against the tag team champions. Nice little backdrop there. Takes them down, and this is probably where they will start to take over. So, once again, we still have not had the tag team debut of Enzo and Cass here on NXT. Big, big. Just throws them in the air, lets them drop. Not even a one count, though, unfortunately, for the Authors of Pain. Oh, he's going to get him up for a power slam. Oh! Back of Enzo Amore. Oh, he's going to feel that in the morning. Definitely. I mean, he's feeling it now, but even more so in the morning. Irish whip into an elbow. Going up top. That's not a smart idea. Gets punched. And oh! Big Enziguri kicks him down. Falls from that top rope down to the ground. Great teamwork there. What's he going for here? Russian leg sweep in the centre of the ring. You don't really expect Enzo Amore to be putting up such a good fight, actually. Normally, it's uh, Big Castle does the fighting. Enzo does the talking. Oh, my God! Belly to back suplex. The size difference between these two men is absolutely incredible. Height, not so much, but actual size. Into a neck breaker. Nice. Reverses it. Tries to get some offense of his own. Big punch to the back, falls into the corner, and again, a big lariat to the spine, and again, punches to the back of the head, going for the Irish whip into the corner, what's he got in plan here, turns him around, goes for again, big punch to the spine, Enzo blocks with an elbow, hits him with another one, goes for a cross body, and it gets a big boot to the face, now the Authors of Pain look to be dominant here, Going to go throw him into the corner. Looks like a double team move is in store here. Irish whip. And, oh, a double running shoulder block. And a big kick to the spine. Knees to the spine. They're working this spine. Obviously, their finishing maneuver is the power bomb. So, working that spine is going to uh, just increase the damage that the power bomb actually does. But now, picking him up. Going for, oh! 
Nice little suplex there. Off the rope. Again, the power of these two men. Enter Mori, probably just... Well, that's a big drop kick, though. He's obviously got the speed and uh, agility over these two men. But shouldn't be doing that. The power. He's not got the power game. Tugs him on the arm. Gonna look to pick him up here. Down on one knee. And he slams him back down. He's gonna go up top. Looking to do this earlier in the match, but it was kicked down. What's he got in store? The tadpole splash. Kick to the face. Jesus. Reversed into the arm drag. Now he picks him up. Going to throw him in the corner here. Look for another tag team move. Double team maneuver. Off the ropes. Again, a double shoulder tucker. Shoulder tackle. Goes to the cover. One, two. Kick out a two by Enzo Amore. Does he really want to be facing such a beatdown from these two men? Obviously, he's going to get start getting counted out for being in the ring. But here we go. Kick to the head. Enzo's looking to fight his way back into this. Goes for the crossbody. It works this time. Now, what's he got in store? Stomping on the arm. Again, stomping on the arm won't allow them to actually hit the powerbomb. It'll be very, very difficult for them to lift him up one-handed. Step up in Zaguri, though, by Enzo. Puts him back down to the ground. Going to the middle rope. Taunting him, telling him, begging him to get up. And he does. Enzo's going to go for the DDT. Goes to the cover after that one. One. Two. Kicks out at two. So close. Enzo could have had this. Off the ropes. Double. Double axe handle. I don't know what to call that. Going to pick him up. Big knee to the face. As it is reversed. Taunt into the crowd. Just look at the size of this man. Enzo slowly getting up in the background. Picks him up on the shoulders. And oh! The whole weight of him. Just going down on the chest of Enzo Amore. And he's going to look to finish it here. One. Two. Three. That's it. Enzo Amore is out. And the authors of pain pick up the victory. It's probably guaranteed that they'll pick up the victory with Enzo being alone in this match. Maybe en maybe Cass could have done something different about this match, but the outcome is that the tag team champions have picked up the victory and are as yet undefeated on NXT. Let's get into the next match. Right, so this next match is a NXT IC Championship match between Jinder Mahal and a random opponent. Let's see who comes out and faces him. So we announced earlier tonight that there would be an open challenge and the man answering that challenge is going to be Craig, obviously from the developmental. And uh, this is the second time that the IC title has been put up on the line. So let's get into this match. Nice little arm drag off the top rope there by Jinder. Jinder's going to have the experience, the power. He's got the height. He's got everything over Craig. Craig's just a rookie. No, into the ring post. No. Ah! Oh! Obviously, Craig was busted open last week. He had to have that stitched up, and moves like that's just going to reopen it. Gives him the tree of woe. What's, what's he thinking? Oh my! What a drop kick right on the jaw. And he's going for it here. Big slam! Surely he can end it off that. What's he doing? Big boots to the chest. Takes him down. And he's going for it. The camel clutch. All the accolade, as I always say. Whatever your preference is. And this has got to be it. Surely. That, yep. Yeah, Craig taps out. Taps out. Couldn't last that long. And uh, what a match. But Jinder Mahal retains his championship. Oh, it was Craig from the developmental that came out to face him, as you can see by the replays that I've just shown. But Craig, he just got absolutely smashed. He's not ready for that. I just don't know why they let him go out there. 
But now, let's get into this main event between Cassius Ono and Hideo Itami in the second, or no, sorry, still the first round of this eight-man tournament. Let's see who progresses through to the semi-finals. Right, here we go. This is the debut of Cassius Ono. We've obviously seen Hideo Itami in this universe mode before with an unfortunate loss to Cody Rhodes on the first week of this show. And Ono throws him right to the outside. Throws him up the ramp. What's he doing? Oh! Diving sent on. Both men have got to be careful that they don't get counted out because I'm not sure what will happen if both men get counted out. I don't know whether they'll both go through or none of them go through and whoever wins the other quarter final gets an automatic through to the final. But here it is. Oh! On the ramp. The steel ramp. Now Hideo Tami kicks and a oh, double stomp onto the gut of Cassius Ono. Hideo Tami's running back to the ring. Make sure he doesn't want to break the count. Oh no, both men back in the ring now. But there is a big size difference between these... The running knee! Oh my god, by Cassius Ono. Smashes the hand on the ground. Looking to go to the middle rope. Oh no, is a big man. Goes for the diving swanton from the middle rope. Now, Hideo has him against the middle rope. Irish whip into a nice little lariat. Now, Hideo on the outside. Diving elbow off the top rope. Springboard. It's a very even match so far. Now, Hideo Tami. Oh, thrown into the air by Ono. Shows the power. Double leg takedown by Hideo Itami. Gets back into it. And another double foot stomp onto the gut. Into a kick to the chest. Lifts him up now. Irish whip into the corner. <laughs> What's he got in store here? Puts himself up. And he's going for it. The Oh, to the oh, I really expected a tornado DDT there. And again. Using the ropes to his advantage there. Just the throat of a... Oh no. Going off the ropes. Making it difficult for him to breathe. And there. A nice little neck breaker. Okay. Oh no. Looking to regain some control here. Going for a sent on. Nice little sent on there. All of his weight on the gut of Hideo Itami. Looks to target the legs. Gets kicked in the face by Itami. Itami's been here for years now. We're going for the cover. One, two. Been here for two, three years. And has yet to have an NXT Championship match. So he's obviously going to take this very, very seriously. As they all should. But going for a Hurricane Rana. Cassius Ono goes for the Hurricane Rana there. Going to drag him into the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. One, two, I think he kicked out just before the two count there, but oh no, working the shoulder, Hideo Tommy's working his way back up, big forearm to the face, Irish whip into the corner, turns him around, kick to the gut, he's down, and what is this, oh a huge drop kick to the face, we obviously saw him try and attempt that against Cody Rhodes, and he's in the corner, waiting for Ono to get up. And here it is! The big boot to the face. Goes to the cover. One. Two. Kicks out! Ono kicks out of Hideo Itami's finishing manoeuvre. What has Hideo got to do to take this man out? Goes back to the outside. Going to use a springboard. Maybe not. Jumps back inside. Off the ropes this time. And again, a big double axe handle to the knee. Gaiden tugging in the legs here. Oh no, oh no's got to be out. Big, big boot to the face. Back lift. Oh my god, just the backflip. The size of this man, you can do a backflip. That's incredible. But, oh, snap, neck break. I think it's a snap something, I can't remember. But here we go. Lifts him up. Big boot to the spine. Going to lift him back up again. Into the corner. This time Hideo goes. Again. Going to get put up onto the top rope. This is not a good position for Hideo Itami. And he's going to go for it. 
What's he going for here? A belly to back. Off the top rope. That's going to affect both men. But, oh. oh no, gets up. Going to pick up Itami this time. Big arm to the face. Up on his shoulders into the electric chair. Drops him down. Big forearm to the back of the head. Is that it? Is Ono going to pick up the victory here? One. Two. He kicked out a one. A huge forearm to the back of the head. And Itami kicked out a one. Now Ono's measuring him. What's he going for here? The neck breaker. Reverses it in a big forearm to the back of the head. He's got to be knocked out. One. Two. Three. Cassius Ono picks up the victory on his debut. And from what looks like he knocked out Hideo Itami with that big forearm to the back of the head. That's absolutely insane. Kicked out of Hideo's finisher. Hit him with his own. And there we go. Cassius Ono is through to the semi-finals. And we will see you next week.